Hey guys, today I'm doing the 100,000 mile service on my 2018 Chevrolet Silverado. I uh, just got the Duramax, the L5P, and the Allison 1000. I normally do a spin on filter every other oil change, but today I forgot my. I'm also doing the internal filter today, but on the little filter, I forgot my small filter wrench. So, what I was going to do is show you how to get a filter off without a filter wrench, which is. You know, you may not, some people may know this, some people may not, but I know it's been invaluable since I figured out how to do it, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, I've done everything from the great, big, humongous uh, air filter, uh, what do you call it? <coughs> the great, big air cartridges in a um, air dryer on an 18 wheeler. The one that has a canister top that you got the big filter inside, I've used it on that, and I've also used it on small filters, so I'm going to get to it and show you what I'm talking about here. So if you have a strap, just a regular old ratchet strap, it can be a one inch, it can be a two inch, it depends on the size filter you're using as to what size strap will actually work better. And today I have a little one inch strap, and I will show you what I'm talking about. I think... I'll be able to get my phone position it right here. Maybe that won't fall if it does. Bear with me. So anyhow, this joker's tight. I mean, it's on there. So, what you want to do is to loosen it, you'll go this way. So, when it ends up, I need it like this. So what I'm gonna do, pull out a little bit of, pull out a little bit of slack. Come around once, pull out some more slack, go around again. This time come over the top. Keep it up on there good. Which is kind of a key to it. Another thing is making sure you're positioned right. So, and then try to overlap this. Pull out some more slack, and then come back up over the top, and then pull it good and tight. Take a bar of some sort, and I bought this at Harbor Freight. I don't know if y'all can see that, but man, that's awesome for everything. <laughs> bar right in here, like so. And you can see the filter starting to turn. Pull tight on this one, push on this one. Don't get discouraged if you don't get it the first time because it is kind of tedious, but it will get you out of a bind. I mean, if you don't have the filter wrench that you need and you can get in here to this. Some stuff you just flat out can't get all this in there to it. You actually need the wrench, but like I said, save my butt more than a few times. Turn it as much as you can. Maybe you can turn it by hand just like that. There you go. Anyway, I hope they help somebody out. Like I say, I know I don't even remember who showed me how to do that, but it has been awesome since I figured it out. So there you go. Hope you guys are having a great day, and we'll see you again soon.